Giveaway alert. We will be announcing our giveaway alert very soon on Instagram. So don't forget to follow us on Instagram. Instagram link mentioned below. Good news for international students. In today's video update, we will talk about the end of distance learning in the UK for overseas students. The UK Home Office's COVID-19 guidance for international students and education providers has been updated to approve that the distance learning concession will be in position for the duration of the 2020-21 academic year, terminating on the 27th of September 2021. Before we continue with the video, be sure to enter into our brand new giveaway. We will give away any of these items it's your choice. To enter the giveaway leave a like, comment the keyword, subscribe and turn on the notification. And most importantly, watch the whole video. It's that simple. Changing the rules on immigration. A new immigration bill. Point space immigration system. Brightest and the best. Greatest place to live. International students will still be able to get sponsorship to begin a course of study by means of distance or blended learning on condition that they plan to shift to face-to-face -face learning from the 27th of September 2021. The latest guidance further mentions that new international students who have not so far applied for permission to come to the UK as a student or child student and who plan to study on a course which will be entirely completed out of the UK via distance learning, will not be obligated to travel to the UK and will not consequently be required to get a visa. They will be able to commence the relevant distance learning course from outside the UK. New international students that do plan to travel to the UK to take on face-to-face -face learning are still obligated to get a certificate of acceptance of studies and need to begin face-to-face -face studies by the 27th of September 2021. The course commence date on the Certificate of Acceptance of Studies can be either the commencing date on which the course begins by distance learning or the date on which the face-to-face -face learning will commence. This is a conclusion to be made by the sponsoring institution. If a student does not involve with their distance learning for over 30 days, whether they are located outside or inside the UK, the sponsoring institution is required to revoke the sponsorship. As a result, it stays vital for students to carry on engaging with their course of study, as would be assumed if they were attending face-to-face -face tuition. The last date to terminate distance learning may present a problem for those students who are registered on a course of study, but who may not be able to enter the UK by the 27th of September 2021 because of the COVID-19 pandemic. Flight restrictions and border closings remain widespread and many countries carry on to face harsh exertions because of the COVID-19 pandemic. Bearing this in mind, it is not clear whether sponsoring institutions will be able to shift those students who are not able to come to the UK by the 27th of September 2021 to a distance learning course, at the same time keeping their student visa in the event they are able to afterwards travel to the UK in light of the circumstances that sponsored students are not generally allowed to commence distance learning courses. We anticipate more clarification on this issue sooner or later. This is the end of today's update. If you found this video useful, then please share it with your friends and family of Facebook, WhatsApp, and Twitter. Thanks for watching today's video.